Hello, welcome to our drawing lesson today. I'm Mark Kistler, and thank you for joining me and subscribing to my Mark Kistler Live um, YouTube channel. This is our 30 day drawing challenge, and I'm so pleased. Let me put myself on camera so I can wait to. Hi, I'm so pleased you've decided to accept this challenge. 30 days, 30 drawings. You can do it. Just think what's going to happen to your imagination and your creativity. It's just going to take off, right? Now, it doesn't matter if this is your first day or your 21st day. Whenever you decide to start, that's when this 30 days will take, will, will begin, all right? Now, get your journal, get your paper, get your pencil. And every day, just one drawing a day, it's all I am uh, uh, suggesting you can draw more if you want, but just if you can commit to one 15-minute spot a day, I think you're going to be totally excited and totally amazed with what's going to happen with your imagination. So let's get right down into the drawing lesson. Let me turn the camera off here and let me switch this over to my other monitor over my drawing table so I can see what I'm doing. Well, today, today's lesson is called the, <laughs> I was going to call it Doorways of the Wormy, but uh, one of you guys online sent me a note and I just, I thought that would be a great title. The Early Artist Gets the Worm. I think that's just perfect. So let's, let's call it that. The Early Artist Gets the Worm. Now, we just did a lesson with the, the mouse's nose coming out of the hole called the mouse hole. That was really, really a great lesson. And on this one, we practice that doorway right here, right? Well, I wanted to show you uh, what happens when you put a doorway of thickness on both sides, okay? So on the, the, for this lesson, we had the mouse's nose coming out. This is a, the, um, posted. You guys can watch this posting. See how the mouse's nose coming down in direction south, west? Well, look at this. On this doorway... The dog's nose comes out in direction southeast. See, we're, and then on this one, the thickness or the hole or the doorway is on top, so the thickness is on the top. If the window's on top, the thickness is on the top. If the window's on the right, the thickness is on the right. If the window's on the left, the thickness is on the left. That's a, a rule that will never, ever change. Here, let me show you this example. Look at these. See, see the, the mouse's cheese, the window's on the right, the thickness is on the right, the window's on the top, thickness is on the top. You see that rule, that law never changes. Look at look at this. Uh, this was uh, a drawing I did for Gail in Indiana. I'm going to mail it to her. She sent me a self-addressed damned envelope. Um, but the windows here, look at this. The windows are on the top and to the left, so the thickness is on the top and to the left. Isn't that cool? This is one of my one-hour lessons on my Mr. Mark Mondays for my homeschool and classroom schoolers and all my adult kids at heart who like to draw for a full hour with me on Mondays. So I'll tell you more about that later. But let's get going. We're going to draw the early artist gets the worm. So <clears throat> take your pencils, put two dots straight across from each other two dots straight across from each other and then take your pencil or take your finger put your finger right in the middle let's create a really cool four short and square a four short and square to create this illusion of 3d that's our goal this is a wonderful way to draw a box and this is a good way once you draw a box you can practice doing many layers we're going to just do one box and have the worm going through it so let's draw a line coming down here in direction south west southeast northeast northwest these are the four positions that we use this is a chart I hope you students at my uh, Mark Kistler live uh, you members make sure you print these charts down from the corner so you have it handy all right let's go straight down we're gonna draw this the box shape we'll have a worm coming out of it okay you can slant these down if you want I'm just gonna have them these are all uh, uh, parallel they're parallel with each other they're parallel with the side of your sketchbook or your paper. They're, they're vertical lines. Okay, middle line's going to be a little bit longer. That's called placement, one of the 12 Renaissance words. Remember these words? There's 12 words. Print this chart at MarkKistleLive.com for you uh, members of my uh, my uh, Mark Kistle Live Mondays. Print those charts and have them handy. Go uphill. See this? To the right, you see this line right here? Well, eventually these are going to come off into a vanishing point far away. And I'll tell you more about that in another lesson. Okay, so these lessons right here, these take your pencil, draw a little arrow here. So let's just identify that. We're going to call this direction northeast. Okay, see this line right here? See that line right there? I'm going to call that line right there direction northwest. And we're going to be using this these directions to help us draw 
just about every drawing. These are the four directions that artists put their objects or their characters or their characters positioned in environments. These are the four positions. So what we're going to do right now <coughs> is draw a doorway and have our cool little wormy worm, our little furry worm or caterpillar worm coming out here. All right, there's a box. Great, great uh, practice practices a thousand times and still won't be enough. All right, well, let's draw a doorway here. I'm going to draw the vertical line. I'm going to draw the vertical line and let's draw the top of the doorway. Draw the top of the doorway. Looking good there. And then let's uh, over here, I'm going to draw another vertical line. I'm going to draw another vertical line and I'll draw the top of this doorway. Okay. I'm going to kind of curve it. Now, see the near part is going to be larger, it gets smaller. That's that word size. Doesn't have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. Don't stress out. Don't get all anxious. Oh, no, it's not perfect. Don't freak out. Ah! Don't freak out. Anxiety is on the bus. Bye bye, anxiety. Learning how to draw is so fun. It's just relax and let let the art take over. Don't don't stress. If you don't get it perfect the first time, no problem. Watch the recorded recorded. I'm going to post these little 15-20 minute YouTube vignettes. Now look at I'm going to make the worm coming out here. See? I'm going to draw this wormy guy. He's kind of bending out of the the tube here. All right? So, I'm going to draw the worm's face coming here. All right? And then I'm going to how thick you want the worm. Excuse me. I think I'll have the worm about this big right here, and then there's Wormy's head. Okay, now I'm going to turn this. Turn. It's going to turn. It's going to be coming down this direction. Okay, so let's have its angle. And follow this guideline here. Follow this guideline here. Isn't that fun? And then I'm going to turn this worm again. Look at this. Will be the near part. Think. Think. Think of a tube. Think of it. It comes out here, and that's a tube going that way. Well, look at if I made this tube going this way. See, think of a tube. See what I did? That four shortened circle. Think of a tube going that way. And then I think I'm going to have the worm curve behind. Following this guideline. Look at we're turning. See what I did on this guy right here? I had the worm turn. In fact, here, look at one of my, my artist trading cards. Remember, if you want one of these free cards, send me a self-addressed envelope, but you have to send me one of your your drawings. You have to send me a drawing, okay, to get one of these free artist cards. Remember, one per family. If you have more than one child in your family or more than one uh, uh, adult kid at heart who wants to get these cards, I'll put your names on the back. One free one per family. But again, if you want to purchase more, I tell you how. Right there on the contact tab of uh, markkissler.com or markkisslerlive.com. And thank you so much. Thanks for buying my cards. That's, that's how I'm paying for my dream, my mission, my dream quest of teaching a million YouTube subscribers how to draw in 3D. Now look. Look, click that contact tab. That's the little tab at the top, right, of the MarkKisslerLive.com. Now look at how this worm. Look at this guy. See this? See this? Look how it goes away. See, that's called, this is uh, detail. This is placement. The near uh, worm is lower. It gets further. It's higher. It gets less detail. It moves away. So let's do that with our little guy. I'm going to, here's the near part of the worm going back. It's turning the corner, going back behind here. Behind here. Really cool. And I was at an elementary school last month. I was doing a, one of my live personal appearances at the elementary school. I've been, been to 7,000 schools in the past 30 years. Really, really fun. And I had 600 sixth graders drawing this worm, and it was such a blast. And we drew the worm going around, and then one of the students took the worm and spelled their name in 3D going off in the distance. I thought that was so clever. So I'm going to have this worm. It's going to get smaller back here. I guess I have to erase this since it's coming coming back here in the distance. And it's going to come around here. Look at the worm is getting smaller. Now, what do you want to do with the tail? <clears throat> Excuse me. <gasps> Excuse me. My morning my morning congestion. Now, look at See it turns, turns, turn, turns. We can do as many turns as you want, or you just have it going off into the distance. I'm going to have it come over here and kind of end right here. So the worm starts and comes around. All right. Whatever you want to do. Or look at you just go nuts. Look at you can turn it here, have it go back in the distance again. Look at look how far back this. I'm gonna have this guy going way back. Look. Look how long this worm's going back. And I'm still using these alignment lines. 
Look at that guy's going way back there. Is that crazy? Ooh, you guys are art animals. You guys are going crazy. Take your finger and go, aha, inspiration strikes. You never know when your genius brain is going to have all these great drawing ideas. That's why I say keep your uh, drawing sketchbook handy. Always be ready. You never know when you're going to get an inspiration to draw, okay? Keep your sketchbook hands. Put the thickness on the left side of that. Let's draw the near, the near eye of the wormy worm. I'm gonna put the other eye kind of peekaboo back behind here. That's placement and size. Near things are larger. And then I'm gonna put texture. Let's put this wonderful texture here. Texture, texture, texture. Do you love it? Oh my goodness! I always want to say, give me a happy face, sad face. But on this platform, we don't have happy face, sad face. Uh, icons at the bottom that's at my mr mark mondays so that's such a that's one of the people ask me what the difference is between our uh youtube live daily draw one draw a day for 15 20 minutes and my mondays webcast the mondays are a full hour and that's on my mark kiss the live site and that's our membership it's 49 dollars for a whole year for your classroom or your family would love to have you drawing with me it's a full hour and you guys can what i really like about it is you can share the camera i click a button and the screen splits in half and you guys are on the over here sharing your the classroom or your family showing me your drawings showing the kids all over the world your drawings and then on this side i'm ooing an eye here put a shadow down here put a shadow it sits it's just really cool then you can push little happy face sad faced icons at the bottom to sign up for that you click sign up at markkissalive.com i love it it's just such a fun way to spend mondays the times are uh all texas time look at now watch this this is going to wrinkle in front see this think of a tube See, think of a tube. So th these lines are wrinkling. See, see right here. Think of a tube. See this. Think of this tube and wrinkle it. Wrinkle it. Let's put the texture, furry texture. Okay. The, and the tube comes. See this. This tube right here. See this. If you did, let's go ahead and put a little light contour line. See how this tube right here is bending towards you. Isn't that interesting? See how that worm. See how that comes towards you. Now this wormy's face. See this? Th this guy is you're really light. You can put this so you see. See, this tube is coming this way. This tube is coming this way. You can curve these even more than you think you have to. I mean, for an example, here, look at look at on the, in the You Can Draw on 3-Day book. Of course, you all have copies of this, right? You've all gone to Amazon.com and you got yourself a copy. Thank you for getting my book. I love it. I love you. I love you guys. Let's put the, here, here's the tubes. Look at how the tubes, see this? The contour lines change directions of, of the tube, all right? That's a great lesson here. Contour tubes. So that's basically we're drawing contour and we're drawing alignment and we're drawing placement. And we're, look, I'm gonna switch this tube. I'm gonna curve these lines. Put the thickness on the right side. We're using all these words. Here's a little contrast. Here's one of the 22 art terms, contrast and value and tone. Now those uh, 22 art terms will help make your drawing more appealing to your eye, help make your drawing more beautiful. Okay, the drawing terms, the 12 Renaissance words, the 12 Renaissance words, this chart, okay, for you uh, members of my Mr. Mark Mondays, um, print those charts up, okay? Print them up so you have them handy. The, the 12 drawing words help you build your drawing so it's visually 3D. All right, and the 22 art terms help make your drawing beautiful, more attractive, more visually appealing to your eye. So, this the drawing the tw drawing words are more of the scientific words behind the 3D, the skill building that skill, and the art words make your drawing more beautiful. It's like icing on the uh, the art cake, making it more delicious for your eye, more visually delicious. I've always liked that term making your drawing more visually put those wrinkles I love the wrinkles and then we're gonna do like I did on my artist trading card I'm gonna make the 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 worm get lighter and less distinct as it moves away from you here okay so I will define a little bit more right here look at this put the tubes put those the curves and these curves curve this way and then they, they're changing direction put the fur maybe put a little bit of a shadow down the ground and it's gonna get lighter and lighter as it moves away 
and less distinct. Isn't that fun? Now this one right here, let me fix this a little bit. This this curve, you're going to see a little more of this curve here. Now wait till we get the blender. It's going to be so cool. And it gets lighter and lighter as it moves away. That is, that's going to be awesome. All right. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right. So put the shadow. Hey, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And thank you for sharing the link of this video with your friends. You... Uh, kids and you kids at heart all of you moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles are kids at heart thank you for taking this challenge and drawing with me remember my dream my dream quest to get a million subscribers drawing in 3d it's gonna take me s several years but I am committed to get you guys drawing thanks for your support and thank you for sharing the link and subscribe and get your friends to subscribe I'm gonna blend this I'm gonna make it smooth blend it down I'm gonna take my stompy and I want to shade just the bottom of this guy watch this I want to just blend that little tone underneath here see that that's where your stompy comes in handy you can you get a lot a lot of territory up oh, here's a spot on the ground put a shadow on the ground put a shadow remember if you send me a self-addressed damned envelope you have to include one of your drawings in order to get one of my free trading cards okay make sure you include a drawing love to ha love to get those okay Oh, that is so awesome. I'm so glad you guys did our, our The Early Artist Gets the Worm Drawing. Thank you for drawing with me. You guys did fantastic. 30 days, 30 drawings. Thanks for accepting the challenge. Let me, let me put the camera. Hold on a second here. Let me get the camera so I can say farewell to you guys here. Here we go. Let's put the camera on. Ah, there we go. All right. Hey, nice job. I hope you enjoyed this drawing lesson half as much as fun, half as much fun as I did. I look forward to seeing you on my next YouTube live lesson. I'm trying to go live every day at 10 a.m. Houston, Texas time. That's central time. Hope you can join me. Some Monday evenings, I'm able to go live in the evenings at 7 p.m. Texas time. But friend me on Facebook. And if you friend me on Facebook, be sure you look for the uh, image of these three birds. Let me try to find it here. There's a thousand Mark Kesslers on YouTube. So if you do friend me, look for those three birds behind my my picture. And that way you can send a friend request. That's how I keep everybody informed of when I'm going to go live for another drawing. Okay. So friend me, I'll friend you back and I'll keep you posted. Thanks for drawing with me. Dream it, draw it, do it. Draw 15, 20 minutes a day. 30 days, 30 drawings. I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye, everybody.